Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. The studio is still under construction, so no video camera yet again, and I'm sorry that you can't see me, but what we can see on the screen today is Brizzy 2.0. I've been calling it Breezy. The folks over at Brizzy pronounce it Brizzy. <laughs> so Brizzy 2.0, this video is slightly self-explanatory. What I just want to show off are some of the features, and as always, I'm going to go on with some monologue about why I think uh, you might want to use Brizzy in your next WordPress project. So the first thing we're going to take a look at are the new global settings for blocks and the dynamic uh, display conditions that you can uh, configure. And this is what they're calling is sort of sealing the deal on dynamic page building uh, and all of their sort of uh, save templates that one would use when building out a site. So I just dropped in a header block. Let's grab a menu element, bring that in, get rid of this. So there's only two pages on this example piece <clears throat> or example site. I'm going to reorder this, put it at the top. Not that it really matters for today's demonstration, but once you have your header in place or even your footer, matter of fact, let's just do it just for sanity's sake. Footer. We'll grab this one. Here's our footer. So you can pretend that there's content here in the middle, and this is our uh, footer section. So let's just start with the footer. If I want to make this global, click on the little settings flyout, check off, make it global. That'll give it a second. You'll see that the icon changes or appears the little global icon. So now you know that you can save this or reuse this across uh, your entire site. In fact, it's already going to load across your entire site. If we go back into that same flyout setting, we can flyout setting. Is that the right term for this kind of thing that flies out? Maybe. Uh, we go into display conditions. <clears throat> and like my last video where I showed you generate press and generate blocks and how they build dynamic stuff with their element builder, that's what this is. And so this is going to say, where do you want to display it? Uh, by default, it's just going to default to the single post uh, that you're on. But if I just switch it to all, it's now going to show the footer across the entire site. So every Brizzy page that it loads, uh, it's going to show you know, this footer down here. And I can do the same thing uh, for my header, make it global, go back, display conditions, same thing. We want to show this across all posts and pages throughout the site. If I wanted to exclude something so I can just add a new display condition, click on the include, it'll automatically switch it to exclude. And then you can select given pages. And this might be very useful if you're using Brizzy for a landing page or a product page. And you just, you really want to focus that customer or that pay-per-click uh, on just the content of a landing page. And this is where you would exclude, let's say the header uh, or the footer on that uh, given page that you might select, right? So, and I think that Brizzy is really set up for the marketers of the world. I mean, designers certainly, of course, but folks who just want to, you know, just get in, build a quick uh, landing page. I think Brizzy is amazing for that kind of thing. It's it's powerful enough. You know, there's still a lot of features here where you can get lost and there's a learning curve, but I certainly don't think it's that of the same level of a beaver builder or an elementor, uh, which I guess is both good and bad, depending on what you're looking for uh, out of your WordPress page builder. Uh, theme builder, that's that first one. Mega menu builder. So they've added in a new way to style uh, mega menus. I'm not a fan of mega menus that often. Uh, I think that those are uh, can be un a little unwieldy on a mobile device, especially tablets. There's, you're sort of caught in the middle. You don't know how somebody's going to uh, interact with them, that kind of thing. But if I click on a menu item here, like this private page menu item, I go to the settings. I simply check this off to mega menu and you can see the mega menu appears and then I can do certain things with pulling in elements, right? So I can pull in, let's just say a column bring that right into my menu and you can see here now I can play, you know, with this, this menu, I can add, you know, a logo in here or a search, uh, uh, element. Let's just see what that looks like. Uh, I started typing in the word element. Let's drop that in. So you probably want to style this a little bit, but let's just make that a little bit bigger Then maybe add in another menu. Again, I only have two pages here. If I click on this, I can change the orientation to 
uh, vertical. And then I can change the text color. Matter of fact, let's change it all to white. There it is. All right, and then I can do, well, maybe let's just go a little bit bigger. This is this is a mega menu, right? So make it a little bit bigger there. Uh, and then one last piece, let's just, I don't know, add some margin there and there. So look, I'm not a designer, but if you're designing a mega menu, that's pretty simple. Now, things are going to get a little complicated as you uh, go into maybe tablet views and uh, mobile views and things like that. But if you are, you know, if you do have a customer that wants a mega menu, you want to uh, sponsor something in a menu, this is very common in things like e-commerce stores, uh, you know, that kind of uh, function usually appears in a mega menu, especially if there's lots of products. Uh, and they're making it super easy to build out that mega menu. So we're going to go ahead and save that as a draft. In fact, this is actually a new feature down here. When we hit, we actually go to create our new uh, Brizzy page, uh, which is new to Brizzy, is you can save these as drafts. Previously, you had to publish uh, the page itself, so it was always available or maybe the edits were automatically available to the person viewing the page. Now you can save it as a draft and then publish the page when you're ready. Uh, another uh, feature to Brizzy 2.0 is saving the entire layout. When you save the entire layout, it's now going to appear under your layouts uh, section. Uh, whoops, save section. And we go to layouts. And this is our layout that we just created and it's going to just inject the same thing right there. Uh, another feature that I couldn't get to work and this is a big one uh, and I maybe I'll have to spend more time. I spent a little over an hour trying to understand why and it could just be where my staging site is hosted. It's Brizzy Sync and I'm supposed to be able to pull in uh, these saved elements into my Brizzy Cloud uh, product or Brizzy Cloud account from my WordPress site and then vice versa. It didn't work for me. Uh, I haven't dipped into their support forms to see if there's some kind of, uh, you know, bug or something that's in the mix here with this new release. But hopefully in the future, I can save these components and then also load them in to my Brizzy Cloud account. And again, here's the monologue and here's the additional information about Brizzy. I think if you're a user... Right. Let's say you're a consultant uh, or a marketing company or a product company and you're not really super uh, into WordPress 100%. I think this is where Brizzy has a leg up a lot, a, even against Elementor. And I, I'd imagine Elementor is going this route where they're going to have their hosted version, I would imagine, sometime soon. But Brizzy sort of sits in between, look, I can build my own website as if I were doing it on WordPress with not as many features as WordPress, but if I wanted to build basic sites using the same Brizzy functionality as I use on my WordPress site. Maybe for a client who doesn't even need WordPress. They'll never need it. <laughs> it's too complicated for them. They just need a landing page. Uh, but I also spend my time working with clients who are customizing WordPress and they do want to have that extended functionality of the CMS. Well, now I can use the same tool across two different types of customers. I think that's where Brizzy really sets apart from the others. And if you're not going to really use both, well, then it's a hard case to use Brizzy. But I, I mean, aside from their designs as well, you might not like the designs. You might really love the designs. And that's what's going to make you want to use it. So really excited for that feature. This animated GIF shows it working flawlessly, hitting sync, and it works. Uh, I connected up the account. I hit sync. I couldn't get it to work, <laughs> but maybe we'll dive uh, back into that at a later time. Let's get rid of these blocks. And the last thing that they added, uh, which is which came to Elementor a little while ago, and I, I did a video on it on uh, on the channel before, is now they're adding in uh, that Lottie functionality. And Lottie is this animated um, uh, animations for uh you know, your WordPress site or for any kind of site uh, in the world. Uh, and you can go to the Lottie uh, website to get, uh, or LottieFiles.com to get these types of animations. And you can uh, inject the JSON file here uh, and do that. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. It's sort of known now. It's a pretty big product. Uh, a lot of people use it for these types of animated features. It's fun. It's exciting. I'm not a huge fan of it. Maybe on a couple landing pages. Again, I did a video on it. Looks kind of fun, uh, but just simply 
not for me. Look, at the end of the day, I'm excited to see where uh, Brizzy is going. I like the t uh, like what they have coming in the 2.0 stuff. I really want to get this sync thing working. Uh, and ha they have a hosting, uh, static hosting feature as well, where you can host this stuff on uh, those types of uh, Jamstack or CDN type services. That's awesome. Like they have a lot of balls in the air. Uh, I really want them to achieve one of them, do one of them really well uh, and power on through some of the stuff because I think what they're doing is pretty exciting. And uh, if you're new to page builders, new to WordPress, maybe you're coming from something like a Webflow or um, whatever Adobe's product is, I can't remember it off the top of my head. This is interesting. Uh, you know, you don't have as steep a learning curve as Elementor. Check it out, Brizzy 2.0. Check out their blog post on it. Link in the description below. Let me know what you're doing with Brizzy uh, in the comments below. All right, plugintot.com, plugintot.com slash subscribe to join the mailing list. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you want more. We'll see you in the next video.